everyone, I'm Liz and this is Vera is my bag. I am back uh, today to do a what's in my bag. Um, I uh, had planned on doing the tag videos that Amber um, created. Those are still coming, but I wanted to do a what's in my bag because I was inspired yesterday watching uh, the Glam P27, Kieran's channel. Um, she showed a, a mini Glenna that she got in this pattern, Holland Garden. And um, I'm going to leave a link to her video down below, but you should go check it out. She hauled some great uh, bags this week. And um, so I uh, was inspired and decided to switch into my small Vera in Holland Garden. I got this, I think, late last winter and I just never used it. It's been in my shelf as <laughs> is my habit of uh, seeing things that I really want and then I get them and I'm um, just using another bag or whatever and I don't end up going straight into them. Um, so anyway, this was uh, on my shelf and I um, had never gotten to use it. This is the only thing I have in Holland Garden. I, um, I'm i actually really a big fan of Holland Garden. I just... It, um, I missed out when it was first uh, um, gone into the like uh, online outlet sale. Um, and I think I found uh, this one on third party, um, new with tags. Or maybe I found it on Amazon on sale. But anyway, now Holland Garden is really hard to, to find. And um, I uh, still would like to pick up a couple of smaller items to go inside the bag. Um, but how, if you haven't looked at Holland Garden real closely, it's very um, woodsy. There's, um, and you know, it's got flowers, but it also has this sort of woodland feel. Um, there's oak leaves. It's just, and it's, it's gorgeous because it has sort of these washed out kind of golds and even some pastel colors. Uh, so it, when you look at the bag, you think it's just black and white or gray. And then when you look closely, there's quite a bit of um, color going on uh, in the little leaves and flowers. Um, but it is still very subtle, very neutral. It's a great bag. And it comes, you know, uh, this is one of the um, uh, bags that was made with the, um, the trim on the sides. And uh, it's these bags with the trim are just priceless as far as I'm concerned because Vera stopped making that. Um, they also stopped with the uh, piping. Um, and I'm just, you know, sad that those kind of elements are gone. And so um, as I can, I pick up pieces um, that have this trim. So anyway, it's a gorgeous bag and I thought I'd show you what I was carrying around in it. I switched it into it today from that um, Crabtree and Elephant. Uh, Evelyn um, Vera um, bag that I showed in my last video. Um, if you haven't seen that, I'll try to link um, a card or below um, or go check it out and you can see the other bag that I'm talking about. Um, anyway, so this is a small Vera tote. Um, it's very, for me, small Vera totes are very recognizable because of the straps. They are um, less padded. Um, and a lot thinner than the regular Vera tote, but I still really like them. They tend to stay on my shoulder better than um, the regular Vera totes for some reason. I'm not sure if that's because they're narrower or they're stiffer, um, but they but you can spot them almost right away because they kind of do this twist thing. Um, they get kind of twisty, um, but that doesn't bother me. This one was uh, kind of tucked away in my closet, so it's a little more twisted than normal. Um, so small Vera Toad is about about 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Um, it's a nice size, medium sized um, bag. Um, and so um, I thought I'd show you what I'm carrying around in it. So first of all, it has this um, uh, slip pocket here in the front and I'm carrying around um, a cat's meow mask in there. And that's all that I have in there. That pocket goes all the way to the bottom down here. Uh, there's also the zipper pocket, which I don't use for anything because um, it does have this um, older zipper that's very stiff and um, kind of catches on my nails. So I kind of keep that closed and don't use it. Um, 
it has this recessed um, top. Um, it does close all the way, uh, but it is kind of a recessed um, top. It has pleather um, poles on it and plastic zipper. So when that folds down in there, then you can see the, the beautiful um, interior on there. Um, so um, I've got a good amount of things in here, about the same that I was carrying around in that other tote. Um, I do have to go to a, a smaller wallet. I can't really carry around a turn lock unless I'm not carrying much of anything else in here um, because of the size. Um, so the first thing that I've got in here, I'm gonna kind of lean you down, sorry. I'm gonna lean you down just a little bit so you can see better. Um, and hopefully my camera doesn't fall over. I'm on a little tripod. Um, so you can kind of get a glimpse of what's in my bag. Um, so the first thing I have in here is um, the wallet that I'm using, which I switched into this after um, last week's video. Um, this is the um, Penguins. Um, I don't know if I have the tag, so I don't know the exact. Playful Penguins, that's what it is. So pay Playful Penguins with, um, you know, their, the, I like the gray kind of with this uh, pattern, so I decided I'd switch into that. Um, and I'm using, I don't have a, um, the matching lanyard, so I'm using the um, Bedford plaid um, lanyard with this, so another gray. Um, so this is the um, RFID zip around wallet, um, which is got this really great amount of space in here, opens up wider than using a regular zip ID, um, has sort of the gussets on the side. Um, so there's um, a section on both sides and then a slip back here and also a zipper for coins in the center um, or chapstick or whatever you want to stick in there. Um, so that's the wallet that I'm using. And then um, I've got my uh, strawberry ice um, small cosmetic. I This might be the mini. Um, has this sort of bowed front pocket. Uh, I've got a couple of little items in here. This is mostly my uh, cosmetics little ones that I carry around in my purse. Um, got some mascara and blush and yeah, lip gloss. Yeah, and some uh, under eye cream. So that's my usual, I carry this most of the time. I haven't switched out of this in a long time seems to go with a lot. Um, and then I'm, I've got my, um, uh, double eyeglass case in, um, tapestry, something tapestry. <laughs> oh, I can't remember what it is. I should have looked it up. Um, but a nice color to go along with sort of the the pinks that are going on in this pattern. Um, so I've got my sunglasses and my reading glasses in there. Um, and then I've got um, a cell phone uh, crossbody in here in Foxwood. Um, it's got the menagerie pink inside, Foxwood menagerie pink. And then um, you get to see all the wonderful sort of jewel tones in here. So that's the um, phone case that I'm carrying in Foxwood. Um, I have got a uh, pill case. I'm carrying, um, I'm using this pill case, but I took the pill uh, container out of it. And I'm using this, this is Kingston Garden, which is really gorgeous, big sort of pinkish purples. Um, sorry for the lighting in here. It's really dark and I got to this video late, so I'm I've got on like a uh, ring light on the camera to try to help me with filming. Um, so I'm using this as a like sort of a mini, I've got uh, medical, I've got uh, Tylenol or ibuprofen, my allergy eye drops and my um, asthma spray. And then underneath here I have some band-aids and an eyeglass cleaner. So I decided to finally break this out. I hadn't used it yet, so I got that. Um, um, I thought that uh, this pattern, Hummingbird Park, went really well with um, the Holland Garden. Um, got the soft sort of pastel blue going on there. 
So I pulled this out and I'm using this um, zip ID uh, for just my AirPods, um, carrying that around. So that's also in the bag. Um, I've got my keys on a little lanyard and um, got my uh, tissue holder in pirouette pink. Um, it's a Vera Bradley tissue holder. Very nice. Um, carrying around uh, a Starbucks gift card that I got. Um, and this is the only wallet that I can fit that whole card in. So I kind of just shoved it in there. Um, I've got my, uh, got a hand lotion. I think this is just a, uh, Actually, I'm not sure where this is from. I think I got this for Christmas. So it's a vanilla hand lotion. It seems like this is the brand that might be at Walmart. I can't remember. And then I've got um, a hand sanitizer. Um, my uh, cord organizer in Butterfly Flutter. So I continue to carry that around with me. And then the last item is something that I found last week on, I think it was on Mercari. Um, and this is a um, checkbook cover. I'm using it for carrying around receipts and little papers. Um, but it is uh, a medallion um, that is from a... I found out later after asking around on some of the Vera um, groups um, that this is a, a checkbook cover that comes from the inside of an all-in-one Um but it was being sold by itself on um, Mercari. And I thought it was really, really cute. I love medallion and I loved this um, color with the sort of white background um, instead of the dark background um, that you don't norm normally see all the medallions in. And so this is kind of a burgundy color with little pink flowers. Um, this pattern is the interior to um, mold wine. Um, a leather, um, some leather bags that were made probably, I'm going to say they're probably three or four years ago, um, maybe longer. And um, so I've been kind of on the hunt for some mulled wine, like one mulled wine bag that has that interior because I really, really love uh, this the way this looks. can't remember um, if it had a particular name for this pattern, um, but it is the mulled wine. Um, I think it's called the Galavan leather uh, bags. So anyway, I've been kind of hunting around um, for one so that I could um, get more of this inside of a bag because I think it's really pretty. So anyway, this is a checkbook cover. It's got a ID window. Yeah, so that's what I'm carrying around in my bag. Um, it is uh, dinner time here. My husband, I just heard the garage door go up. So my husband is home. So I've got to get dinner started, but hopefully I'll be back and be able to film um, one of the tag videos that Amber did and uh, see if I can get that out as well today. So thanks for hanging out and thanks for coming to watch um, the video and um, I'll see you soon.